Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Lavenda with Lakeshore Bone and Joint, and I'd like to talk to you about biceps tendon pathology. This is a model of the right shoulder demonstrating tendon, which would represent the long head of the biceps tendon. It inserts into the glenoid superiorly around the 12 o'clock position. There can be pathology along the entire tendon until it becomes muscle uh, down distally on the humerus. At times, uh, patients can present to my office with pain in the shoulder consistent with a biceps pathology or what we call slap tear. Slap stands for superior labrum anterior posterior. The labrum is a soft tissue that surrounds the glenoid 360 degrees. And a slap tear is the superior labrum from anterior to posterior. So if you were thinking of it as a clock, it'd be from the 1 to 11 o'clock position. That is where the biceps attaches. And if you have pathology there, that can cause pain along the whole biceps tendon. Many times, depending on the patient's age, we can address the biceps tendon and leave the labrum alone. Sometimes that includes repairing the labrum if we're going to address the labrum, but also times it means moving this biceps tendon. Patients ask me, why are you moving the biceps tendon? Well, the recovery seems to be improved and shorter than with a slap tear and slap surgery. Clinically, a patient presents with biceps issues, um, but the MRI is normal. Many times the MRI will miss this area of the biceps tendon, or you, you can't appreciate pathology in that area. Um, but the patient's symptoms are, are consistent with this. In addition, uh, treatment in the office, whether it's therapy or cortisone injection, seems to minimize that area, but it keeps continuing. At that time, sometimes we'll offer them what's called a biceps tenodesis. I believe the subpectoral biceps tenodesis procedure is a very reproducible uh, surgery and offers the patient significant relief. And what that encompasses is uh, removing the biceps attachment on the glenoid and moving it down here. So you can avoid all the pathology in the bicipital groove where you will see synovitis and inflammation. And that can be missed uh, because that area cannot be thoroughly evaluated arthroscopically. Recovery from a biceps tenodesis is a sling for four weeks, start strengthening around six weeks, full recovery around.